Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Dr. Boyce out of Ghana, and uh, you guys uh, know Dr. Michael Roberts. Uh, he is an awesome hotel uh, mogul, I think that's what that would be a good term to use. He's also a nene, which is a king, and he's a king of economic development in the Ada region of Ghana. And so first, before we begin, I'd like to ask Dr. Roberts, how you doing today, brother? Hey, I'm fantastic. Ghana is so beautiful. Uh, I'm hoping that Every African American will be able to get back here and check it out. It's just awesome. So let me ask you this: What drove your desire? You you put together this Return of the Royals trip. Yes. Uh, you you invited me, uh, and I was glad to take the invitation, and I was yes. honored. Yes. Uh, what drove you to, to put this together? Well, I met the president of Ghana uh, last year, around August or September. And that's when he announced the 400 year return concept. And I told him then that I would do my best to invite uh, some business entrepreneurs to come to Ghana and to explore the possibilities. Uh, shortly after that, we started to bring together the players. At one point, it was a discussion of having a much larger group, uh, but time really didn't permit for that to happen. Instead, I decided we would work directly to uh, put together a few folks who are uh, interested and serious and looking to be a part of the future of, uh, of Africa in, in general and specifically, of course, uh, Ghana. Uh, let's make some plans that can reach out 100, 200, 300 years. Let's lay those types of uh, guidelines and roadmaps and we'll start planting some seeds. Okay, so you, you, you're an extensive investor. Uh, you've been able to make some money uh, in the United States and around the world. Um, what do you think, you know, for a lot of the investors that are watching, uh, large and small, what do you think African-American investors can gain by investing in Africa? Well, I think there's multiple uh, opportunities. I mean, for example, if you take the uh, Europeans who uh, invest in the, in the United States, and they've received great returns on their investments, then it would be interesting for uh, African Americans to invest in Africa. Africa is the wealthiest nation on the face of the earth as or it relates continent. to mid as it, the continent of yeah. Africa. But I know what you mean. I, 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 just... yeah. Yeah, I said Africa is, is, is the wealthiest continent yes. on the face of the earth. And uh, why? Because it has the gold, diamonds, uh, bauxite, cocoa, uh, and oil. Uh, and yet, in some cases, it appears to be some of the poorest parts of the world. Uh, now, there's a lot of influence, but I think what we have to do is find ways to bridge the gap of understanding hmm. within the concept of capitalism and entrepreneurship. So that we know that if we come here and we invest, there is a return on investment. Uh, but I think we have an obligation to, to lift uh, what really amounts to be our family members. You know, when you look at the fact that we are truly the products of Africa, and that it was the extremely strong that survived the dungeons which we saw, the slave ships which we are aware of, and the years of slavery, that's some strong DNA. That's mm -hmm. some strong folks who made it possible to stay alive. And as we noted and heard, you know, it might have been easier for them to kill themselves under that situation. Just leave it alone. But instead, our ancestors, the ones who allowed to stay alive, stay strong, and allow us to ultimately be who we are, we have an obligation to those ancestors. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Um, you know, you've had some meetings and, and talked some business while you're here. You're the king of economic development in the Ada region. Um, where do you see some of the best opportunities uh, initially, just in terms of your own thinking uh, on investing here? Well, if we look at historically how different organizations, especially churches and religious groups, they have these missionaries and, and they have missions. But what happens is it's spread and dotted all over the continent. What I'd like to do is take a da region, a da area, uh, and focus on that. Maybe make it, if you will, uh, our own Wakanda, uh, because it has beaches, it has beautiful uh, long properties of all type. 
and it's close enough to a crowd where the international airport is. It's only 47 miles away. So instead of, you know, here and there spreading it, and really the net effect of that is almost nil, that if we instead develop it like we would a whole community, uh, where we could bring technology through technology centers, where we can bring in low uh, um, uh, and moderate income housing, uh, where we can create jobs by maybe building a solar plant uh, for solar energy uh, 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 panels. Uh, things that can be focused in a very specific geographic area and yet have these beautiful beaches that we can enjoy. Uh, you know, this is, a, this is where the Bocha River and the Atlantic uh, merge. And uh, as you were there with us, we saw the, the, the calmness of the river flowing and yet we saw the, the sea of the ocean, the Atlantic, roaring right next to it. And it's a very interesting combination between the calm and the powerful feel. Uh, but it's symbolic, I think, of a location where we can bring uh, two concepts together, you know, mm. strengths and calmness to, to actually uh, uh, sustain a longer lifestyle and, uh, and enjoy a, a quality of life, if you will that we would all enjoy. All right, all right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, it, it was interesting. And you think, I mean, the beaches were beautiful and everything else, and, mm -hmm. and uh, this has been a great trip. And so thanks for inviting me, first and foremost. And uh, everybody, this is uh, Dr. Michael Roberts. He's uh, now the king of economic development in the Ada region of Ghana, and that is an official title. We went through an official ceremony. Yes. And uh, did, did by chance have your African name down yet? Was yeah, it a trophy? Yeah, no, no, so Nene Akrofi Kubi Okansi. Okay, okay. And, and I am uh, Kabu Kubi Okansi. A member of my council. Yes, a member of your council. And I, let me just say to those who are listening for the moment, uh, you have been extremely instrumental in positioning our thoughts uh, while here and uh, reminding everyone of the importance of, of black independence in the United States that is so strong that we now need to look at how we can blend the 1.2 billion people in Africa with the those of us in the diaspora and that's Central America, South America, the Caribbean and North America of course. Uh, it is a, really another district for the AU, for the African Union, to consider as being as important as any other uh, region or district in the AU. So thanks to you, uh, and everybody wants to be a part of your school and your training over here. Uh, I, I think you're gonna be pretty busy. In fact, you may have to go and establish your residency uh, yeah. <laughs> at some point because uh, they're gonna draw upon you. You're, you're, you're a brilliant guy, and we appreciate everything you've done. Well, well, thank you very much, and you know, um, and I appreciate you know you sharing that. And I don't know if you, you saw this, but the um, I looked up the total GDP of all of Africa, all the continents, uh, the 1.2 billion people, and it's about three trillion. Mm -hmm. And we know that African Americans spend 1.3 trillion yeah. by ourselves. Yeah. Right? And and so I think that right there is a huge opportunity for us to turn that spending power to investing power and diversify in a way that's going to make us more powerful. So true. I mean, anyone who comes here, they drive on the streets, on the highways, they see nothing but entrepreneurs. Now, they're small, little businesses trying to sell various items, true enough, uh, but they are, they are entrepreneurs. Uh, they, they're not trying to, you know, they're not working for someone per se, they're working for themselves. So what I'd like to see is us create a, a, a larger platform for them to be able to do what they do and uh, do it even more successfully and with less stress. All right. Well, everybody, this is uh, Nene Akrofi Kubiokansi, and uh, a.k.a. Dr. Michael Roberts, and I am uh, Kabu Kubiokansi, a.k.a. Dr. Boyce Watkins. So yes. thank you very much. Uh, and make sure you guys subscribe, theblackfinancialchannel.com. And uh, we will keep you guys posted. Have a good day.